Hi, and welcome to 4073G's Basics and Tips to Having an Awesome Notebook. We will review the overall basis of creating an engineering notebook and advice that are bound to make your team stand out. There will be a page reading team photo. This page lets judges recognize you and your team. Simply schedule a time with your teammates to take a nice shot of everyone together, preferably with your team shirts on. Then just print it out and tape it in the area cleared for the photo. Next is the team profile. You will be presenting your team by listing off all the members in an orderly fashion so that it is clear to know who is where in the photo. Along with the members, you will describe the jobs of each and a small overview on how it helps your team's work. Next is the table of contents. The three sections to cover for each entry in these pages is the page number, project name, and date. As I'm sure you've taken account of, there is only 78 spaces but 130 pages in the engineering notebook. Some projects will have to be multi-page so that when recording it, it takes up only one line. Keep in mind to never fill out the table of contents until the whole project is complete. Now that everything is set and ready and you've got the basics down, let's get into tips and what to keep in mind for a better notebook. You want to briefly welcome the judges into the world of your team by explaining your team's knowledge of the game and ideas you've already come up with. An important resource is your team's design process, meaning everything that has led up to your current robot. Although detailed explanations are great too, recording the design process means answering the following. What is the problem that is occurring in our robot? How are we going to solve it? How will we build prototypes? Which prototype is preferable? Did our solution work? It is, is it a possible option to improve our robot? Will we have to start over? What could be a different solution? Don't go writing these exact questions on your book because we don't want to see the same inquiries 130 times, but mention the answers as explanations in the paragraph. It is also important to use your teammates, occasionally letting them write in the notebook and using other levels of organization, including graphs, tables, and charts on your team's progress and robot performance can greatly benefit the team. However, a quote or opinion is also a desirable thing in your notebook. Other key factors include getting photos of your work in progress robot. Photos should be taped in and can be colorful. As for drawings, it is better to draw in pencil and then go over with pen. Next is the extra space that you're bound to have when your team's work is decreased. Simply make neat curved X's along the blank space and finish by initialing it. Don't forget to initial your paragraphs and Xing blank spaces out must be like a box. That's all that's needed for your team to jump into a world of excitement at your upcoming tournaments. It may be a little too much for you to handle at first, but with just a little bit of practice, we assure you that you will have a notebook to die for.